Hello, welcome to our channel. I am Dr. Suraj Chiraniya, hematologist, hemato-oncologist and bone marrow transplant physician. Today we will discuss an important health topic, a white, high white WBC count means leukocytosis. If you ever had a blood test that showed a higher than normal WBC count, you might be wondering is this something to worry about. In this video, we will cover what it means to have a high WBC count, most common causes and symptoms, when to seek a medical attention and how to lower your WBC count if needed. So let's dive in and understand what your blood uh, report is, is trying to tell you. First, we will understand what is uh, a leukocytosis. White blood cells or WBC are the body's defense soldiers that protects us from infection, inflammation and other threats. Normal count is 4000 to 11000 microliter of blood. If your WBC count is higher than 11000, this is called leukocytosis meaning your body is producing the excess WBC. Now sometimes a high WBC is temporary or and nothing to worry about uh, like when you have an infection but in other cases it might signal an underlying health condition that needs urgent attention. So what causes a high WBC count? Let's find out. So second subtopic is what causes a high WBC count? There are several reasons why your body might produce too many white blood cells. Some of most common causes include first is infection. The most common cause when you have a bacterial, viral or fungal infection, your body increases a WBC production to fight the infection. Second, inflammation and autoimmune disorders. The condition like rheumatoid arthritis, inflammatory bowel diseases or lupus can cause a continuous rise in WBC count. Stress and physical exertion, emotional stress, intense workouts or even surgery can temporarily elevate your WBC count. Uh, fourth is allergic reaction and asthma. Your body produces more eosinophils, a type of WBC when dealing with the allergies or asthma attacks. Fifth, smoking and chronic lung diseases. Condition like COPD means Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease can cause long-term inflammation and increase in WBC count. Sixth is medication and steroids. Medications such as corticosteroids, epinephrine can stimulate the WBC production leading to leukocytosis. Seventh, blood disorders and cancer. In some cases, a very high WBC count may indicate a leukemia or other bone marrow disorders where WBC grow abnormally. So let's talk about the symptoms of high WBC count. What symptoms that concern with the high WBC count? The symptoms of high WBC count, many people with mild leukocytosis don't have any noticeable symptoms. But when the WBC count is significantly high, you might experience fever and chills, a sign your body is fighting an infection, unexplained fatigue or weakness, could indicate a inflammatory or blood disorder or cancerous condition that can exist. Frequent infection even with high WBC some conditions like leukemia uh, make your immune system ineffective. Shortness of breath and or chest infection if inflammation affects the lungs. Unexplained weight loss a red flag especially if persistence this weight loss is unintentional. If you are experiencing these symptoms along with a high WBC count, it's essential to visit a hematologist for the further evaluation. Then when should you be concerned? A slightly or mildly elevated WBC count isn't always a dangerous. It can be a normal response to infection or stress. But uh, you should see a doctor if your WBC count is extremely high about above 50,000 per microliter. If you have persistent symptoms as discussed in previous uh, session uh, along with fever weight loss or night sense these are the red flag symptoms if you are getting frequent infection or feeling weak without any other cause then you should visit a doctor and if you have history of autoimmune disorders or blood disorders in these cases your hematologist might recommend a repeat cbc to track the changes in your WBC count. You may require a bone marrow studies requiring aspiration and biopsy to check for blood disorders. 
other tests like infection panels autoimmune markers or imaging scan will be required uh, in some patients now if your wbc count is high can you lower it naturally let's find out so this is our next subtopic how to lower a uh, high wbc count naturally if your wbc count is high due to temporary causes like infection or stress or smoking or obesity it might return to normal on its own when you uh, quit smoking or lose weight but these are the some of the ways to support the there are other ways also to support a normal wbc count means reducing a stress with the meditation deep breathing exercise and yoga eat anti inflammatory diet food rich in omega 3 uh, antioxidants and fiber might help to uh, uh, decrease the inflammation fruits and vegetables like berries spinach and carrots healthy fat like olive oil nuts and fatty fish can also leads to the uh, decrease in the wbc count in few patients avoid processed food and excessive sugars and most importantly stay hydrated with proper hydration helps to flush out the toxins and support the immune balance quit smoking limit alcohol because this trigger the inflammation and cause unnecessary wbc spikes exercise in moderation regular physical activity is great but avoid excessive intense workout that might stress the body and increase the wbc count if your wbc count is due to the medical condition treating the underlying cause such as autoimmune disorders infections or blood disorders are the priority and or sometimes with the, uh, the if the medicines are causing then decreasing the doses or stoppage the medicine can also returns to a normal levels so the conclusion and call to action for this topic is a high wbc count isn't always a cause for alarm but it can indicate a underlying issues that needs a attention if your wbc count is slightly high due to the infection or stress it usually resolves on its own however if uh you have persistent symptoms and the persistent wbc count it might uh, point towards a serious condition that warrants visit to a hematologist and you have to maintain a healthy lifestyle to uh, reduce the wbc count uh, that has increased temporarily so for more interesting videos keep following our channel thank you